All right, it is May 7th, and it is our first opportunity to check out Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. So cool. Number one, it's very, very cool to see the old Universe of Energy Pavilion back here. Getting a little bit of love. That thing was getting a little wear and tear, and now it's looking brand spanking new with all its new paint job and all that stuff. Very interested to see what this ride is. Second coolest thing, though, of course, is to see Marvel characters for the first time in Orlando. Flo no, that's not true. We have Marvel characters in Universal. First time we're gonna see Marvel characters on an attraction right here at Disney World. First time we see them on our actual ride, the Marvel characters here at Walt Disney World, so I'm super excited about that. motion capture and intuition. In fact, it can take years of training before a Nova Corps member can pilot a Star Blaster. This is none other than Drax the Destroyer. See? The machine knows why. Anyways, I dance circles around the tree, dude. Told us they dance. You're the weird and embarrassing dance. It was a means of destruction. So the rocket Greetings, Terrans. I am Nova Prime Irani Rayan, commander of the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Xandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born at the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. For you to travel to Xandar would take two and a half million years, assuming you had a ship that could fly at the speed of light. So we decided to come to you. But even we could not have reached you so easily were it not for the Cosmic Generator, an advanced piece of Xandarian technology that creates jump points, artificial tunnels that act as shortcuts linking distant points in space. It is our desire to share this wondrous technology with your people so that together we might explore new worlds and create a brighter tomorrow. And now, as the culmination of the wonders of Xandar, you will be teleported to a Nova ship above your planet for a demonstration of the Cosmic Generator. I trust you will find it an unforgettable experience. Welcome, people of Epcot. Epicotters. Epicotians. Citizens of Epcot. Does anyone know what they call themselves? What? I'm on. Someone needs to tell me when I'm on. Welcome. Epcot Terrence. I am Centurion Tau Merrick, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. As you're about to enter a secure Nova area, I must ask you to put away your Terran communication devices at this time. Recording of any type is strictly prohibited. 
I am very serious about this. So in the end, we got the ride. Cosmic Rewind two separate times. <laughs> what was your overall it's review? It's wild. It's, you've never done anything like it. I, I will promise. say this. People say this a lot like when they go on new, uh, new attractions at a, any theme park. And I think overall, I do think like, I really enjoyed this experience. Um, it's not just a roller coaster, it's a show. You feel like you're part of a movie. And being a part of the Marvel movies, I think is largely really awesome. In its entirety, we got the ride how many times? Two times. And the only spoiler we're gonna actually give about the attraction is, is that you actually have a soundtrack and it changes. We can verify that it does change. You know, uh, just the only spoiler I'm gonna give you. Second time on, we got Burn Baby Burn, Disco Inferno, which was really, really awesome to listen to as you're experiencing the whole thing, but it really does feel like it's not just a thrill ride, it is a thrill ride slash movie that you're a part of, and I think, I think that's really awesome. Yeah, I think overall, it was really, really awesome. Um, I can't wait to experience it. You will be riding this again, right? Yeah, many times, as many times as I can get on it. I will say this, for Disney rides, um, you know, when you talk about intensity for a Disney yeah, attraction, it's not for ones. It, definitely, it definitely has an intensity to it that you don't really oftentimes experience um, as you're at Disney, when you're at Disney. Um, so, but it's cool, it's a great new addition going through Epcot right now, passing some of the new cafes and some of the new stuff. It's great to see how Epcot has been shaping up. And I think uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Galactic, no, oh, Cosmic Rewind is going to be an awesome, awesome addition. How do you feel about having Marvel in the actual theme park? Yeah, you know, I hadn't really thought about it before. We recently <laughs> were, were able to attend Universal Studios once more and you'd see all the Marvel stuff there. How does this compare to that Marvel stuff? Uh, well, it's new technology, so it's just a little beyond what you see there. Yeah, you're not, that, that is one thing I, we can definitely say is you've not experienced an attraction like this ever. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm really excited to be able to go on it again. And I definitely encourage anybody who's coming out to the park, if you like roller coasters, you want to check it out. If you like thrill rides, if you check out, if you love Marvel movies and you love the Guardians of the Galaxy, you should do it. You should do it because all the characters are there. Uh, it, it's just a lot of fun. Can't recommend it enough. So, thank you so much for watching this. If you like what you saw, definitely consider subscribing to Retro Spectrum. And give us a like as well.